Listen to that is Sherelle Jacobs, who is a columnist for the Daily Telegraph and indeed is in today's paper uh, with a piece headlined, Britain is the envy of the world and not just for its pomp and ceremony. Sherelle Jacobs joins me now. OK, if it's not just Sherelle for its pomp and ceremony, what else is it? Good morning to you. Morning. It's that rare ability to combine modernity and tradition. That is what is the envy of the world right now. You, you, from superpowers and rising superpowers of China, America, which are very future-oriented societies, you know, chasing after the American dream, the Chinese dream. You had this sort of realisation in the last few years that maybe there are side effects to this relentless modernity. And we have three things in our monarchy which are extremely special, a sense of national pride, a sense of living in history. And that's one thing that the Americans have been very fascinated with watching us and the eagerness of people to queue to be part of history. And the third thing is a sense of continuity. Um, and I think in the modern world, where there's a sense of rootlessness, of uncertainty, of almost vertigo lurching from <laughs> crisis to crisis, it's actually very uh, psychologically important to have a sense of you know a rock in a stormy sea and that's what the monarchy is for us and i think people were looking to us thinking oh they've got something there i wish we had um and i i slightly disagree with pravina um in the sense that i think that actually one of the symptoms of a nation in decline is being inward looking and saying well what matters is the perception here and not the perception elsewhere but that i strongly disagree with that i think that the way others see us is important and we should be conscious of how we are perceived in the outside world, um, both good and bad, um, but it helps us to appreciate what we've got. Let me ask you this. We look forward to, let's say it's June, the coronation. Should we go for broke or go as if the nation is broke? I think we should go for broke. And I say that because although I do see in... Prince Charles, you know, a flicker of his mother's genius, which was that ability to embody you know, middle class values, even though they are aristocracy, essentially. What, what are the those middle class values uh, that King has? One, one, one of them being frugality. Ah, one right. Frugality. Okay. Um, the famously, the, king, the breakfast out of a Tupperware box, that sort of yeah, thing. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, but uh, the king shouldn't be too eager to sell the monarchy cheap. Um, they make hundreds of millions of pounds every year they draw in for us through tourism. And I think even if we manage to attract even half the amount of people that, that came to London for the, de uh, the, the funeral, funeral. Yeah. Queen, um, we would still make the money back from the coronation within six months. There's, um, a, there's a very interesting piece, lastly, Shirelle, in your article today. I commend everyone to the Daily Telegraph in which you look at how the French have viewed proceedings. Just expand on that, if you would, a little bit of what you've written. Yes, that the French see in us a, a continuity, um, you know, that uh, being in touch with our traditions. And what happened in the French in uh, history was, of course, the French Revolution in 1789, where they got rid of their monarchy in a violent um, uh, series of events. And... There's a sort of um, inability to... So, so they're, 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 they're a lot more um, sort of modern in their, um, in, in their orientation, but also mm. politically they have a republic and so they don't have that sense of um, connection with their past. And it, it's something that's quite difficult to put your finger on. But I think that what was interesting in France was there was just wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the funeral of the Queen and the death of the Queen and they were fascinated with it and it was almost a, a sort of a psychological or emotional yeah. longing there of something that they've lost that they, they don't quite um, they can't quite articulate um, It's almost a sense of regret and I, I think you're right because obviously they would be able to but to underscore your point on what the Queen may, name, uh, means how many people could name the French President and the French Prime Minister and that is a sort of system that goes on one could say the same a system that exists in other European countries, Republic of Ireland, Germany and others. Sherelle, thank you. Good speaking with you. Great piece today. Sherelle Jacobs is columnist for the Daily Telegraph. That piece is in today's paper.